I went into my DoorDash account. I'll show you guys right now. And nothing has changed. I haven't gotten an email yet. Oh, no, look. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's step into the office. Sometimes that garage door just will not close. Come on. About time. There she goes. Let's start the day. We are here in the Costco parking lot. Uber's on. Instacart's on. Let's see what we get. Haven't gotten a good batch yet, but we're just now kind of starting this part of our day. Welcome back to Pedro DoorDash Santiago. Mr. Bet on you. Listen, today's video, I want to talk about DoorDash. That's why you came. You saw the description. You saw the thumbnail. I'm not doing DoorDash until 2023. I'm, I got them on pause. Most of you might know that. I'm doing that for various reasons, but something that I said months ago is happening right now. That's trash. Top Dash is done. It's done. As we know it, it'll, it will evolve and change. But if you're a Top Dasher that has that does it, and sometimes has to take the trash out so you can dash now, and that is a perk, and you deserve that perk. Because sometimes if, if you don't have it, you can't dash now. It's not, you know. I haven't dashed in a couple of weeks. I got this email yesterday. Inviting me to come back and use this perk dash anytime pedro isn't that what top dashers get isn't that part of it it's the only perk that really throw that says you get right now and i am not one from last month i should be one in december I haven't gotten an email yet i haven't even opened my doordash app up maybe we'll do that live in a second with you guys because i've met all the metrics but i'm not going to dash in december but how do you feel if you're a top dasher and you see that you you know other people around you that aren't are now being able to dash now why is DoorDash doing this? Could be one of two things. I haven't dashed. They want me to come back. They see my account's not active. Usually it's on. It's not on. They're like, what's going on? Eh. Or there's just a lot of orders out there. It's the holiday season. People are ordering things, shopping pays, grocery deliveries, restaurant deliveries, all that stuff, right? Package delivery. They know that there's a need. They want as many ants on the road as possible. Look at this order. Pause. Look at this. 77 items, no tip, $9, 10 miles. That is garbage. Kobe, we put it in a trash can. Anyways, that's that's about as bad as it gets. That's about heavy pay. Look at that. Look, look at that miserable human being. I don't hold back, y'all. If you order 77 items and you can't tip the person shopping, bagging it, checking out, carrying it to your house, you suck as a human being. I don't hold punches. I call it how I see it. And if anybody disagrees with that, you are clueless. Anyways, small delay. They just want as many ants and they want as many drivers in the road as possible so that they can get these foods, these orders delivered. Okay? And it's a business move on their part. But Top Dasher's done. Top Dasher is done. The program's done. You have these diamond programs. They're going to reevaluate. Be I don't know why, but it, it's done. The writing's on the wall. So all my top dashers out there, this is no hate. I want to hear from y'all in the comments down below. How does this make you feel? That now I could dash anytime for a week, whatever. But that might affect you because you earned it last month. And now I'm coming into your territory, right? So what do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'm going to do a little bit of a ride along with you guys today. Let's see what we get. But I had to bring this like, this is just, it's crazy. How the apps will manipulate you, chew you up and spit you out. They will do that. Adapt, and most of you guys will. I adapt, we try different apps, we see what works, we see what customers are willing to do, we're willing to pay us to do in, in our market, and it will be different for everybody, do you. But I'll tell you what, if I'm somebody that took the trash out for DoorDash, and now they're just like, hey guys, here, here's a perk, try this out, dash now, dash anytime, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna oversaturate the market, and it might mean less money for some of you guys out there. I don't know, what do you think? So we haven't gotten anything. We've been sitting here for a minute. Here, here's that order where I first showed you guys. 77 items, Sam's, there was no tip. Now it's up to 14.57. These apps, if we don't take the trash, will give you more money for them. Be patient, still not worth my time. But what I'm saying is, there might be somebody worth somebody else's time. So because I didn't take it earlier, I think they added like five bucks or something, right? So it's still trash, but it's five dollars more in trash, if that makes sense. And here it is again, went up another dollar, I think. I mean, so it, listen, 
these um, companies will pay you. I went into my DoorDash account. I'll show you guys right now. And nothing has changed. I haven't gotten an email yet. Oh, no, look. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I checked it a minute ago. Read it. Read it. I told y'all. Top Dasher. Oh, <laughs> this has never happened. This is a monumental occasion on Pedro DoorDash Santiago. Let me read this to y'all. Let me screenshot this and put it up. Okay. Oh, I'm not, listen, I did not go for this. I'm not going to work it because I'm not doing it. But I thought as I knew I wasn't going to do it, I was like, let me look at my metrics in it. Matt, look at this. You completed a lot of deliveries last month while providing your customers great service. I actually worked less last month than any other month, but whatever, DoorDash. This means you qualify for top Dasher rewards. See your rewards. Let me click on this, okay? Oh my, I'm embarrassed. Look at this shit. Oh no, <laughs> December rewards. Dash anytime. Well, they gave me that yesterday anyways. Uh, more deliveries. You'll get more deliveries when things are slower is what it says, okay? Um, oh my God. Why are you a top dasher? Let's see, look, 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 look. You met the top dasher criteria based on the ratings as of December, whatever. Criteria 4.70, completion 95, criteria 100 deliveries, acceptance rate above 70, which was 71. Meet the same criteria this month to stay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. Oh, I feel, I don't know. I'm, so, uh, this is not a good look for me, but I show y'all everything. It is what it is, right? Um, this is my account, as you can see. Okay, so this is where people think you get priority and blah, blah, blah. I'm in a diamond zone. It doesn't really matter. Top Dasher is trash. It doesn't matter. It matters less now. It's less significant now than ever before, in my opinion. I will do a live this month, maybe multiple lives, showing you the orders I get as a, with a Top Dasher account. And we're going to see if they're better or worse. I'm not going to take any of them, but I'll show you guys in real time what that means as I'm out. In the month of December. This is going to be interesting. Um, I kept my acceptance rate high last month because I wanted to test some things out and I made less money. And, you know, some of y'all might say, Pedro, you should do it. Your account's unlocked. It's going to be great for you. You're going to get great orders. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to make a million dollars in December. Top dasher. Mm -hmm. huh, it went up again. Look, the same order from earlier. It went up even more. Six, now it's up to 16 bucks. Started at nine. Don't take the trash on any app. You're hurting yourself, but you might make it more beneficial for the next driver if you don't take no tip orders, trash orders. The orders will go up, especially on Instacart. But I'm going to tell you what, we've been sitting here for a while and nothing good has come in. There's been some good dollar amounts. There was one Uber Eats I probably should have taken by now because I would have made 10 bucks, but I didn't because I was waiting for something better, but hasn't come through. Life of a gig worker, it is what it is. Yesterday, I made good money yesterday. I had a $60 run, a $40 run, a $30 run, all Instacart. Did a couple 10, 11, 12, 13 dollar in that range, Uber Eats. It was good money for the amount of time we we're out. We have to be selective with Instacart sometimes. You have to be really willing to really cherry pick and, and, and know where to be and what time and you know, it is what it is. You'll have lulls like this, especially on Instacart. I could turn DoorDash on right now and make money. Like, I know that, but I'm not. I'm literally Instacart, Uber Eats, month of half of December and go in all, or half of November, all of December. Even with a top Dash account, I'm not doing it. Here's a $7 one, $2 tip. This is just collect two bags, you know. So I could make a little bit of money. That's low mile. Actually, that's a lot of miles. It's not three. That's like 15. That's just ridiculous. I could take some of these orders, but I, I do want to be a little bit patient. Um, I just do, you know, and to each his own. Some of you guys will be like, just take it. Just take, take something, take something. Something's better. Nothing. I get it, but I don't like to compromise too much, especially at certain times of the day. Um, I feel really icky right now. I'm not going to lie. I feel, I feel, uh, gross, uh, top. I mean, I do. I really do, and that's no shade. It just it's a personal thing for me. Um, I never thought this day would come. You know, it's funny, it's comical. But as I was working last month, like I said, I was like, I think, I think I'm gonna. I have the, I have the metrics, and I was like, you know, this is just, it's, it's ironic, it's weird, it's you know, a lot of things. But 
to all the top dashers, like I said earlier, I want to hear from y'all. Do you think that, um, look at this one. Look at these apps, man. Look at this. You got, what do you guys see there? What pops out at you? $12 is nice, right? Do you see this? 30 miles. That's in a whole nother galaxy. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel, I feel, I just feel weird, but top dashers, let me know what, you know, have you seen changes? Many of you guys have said since the diamond zones in my market, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It's, you know, these companies will do whatever it takes to make money for them. Not you. There's enough of us out here. They don't care about you. They want it. They need to make money. Just like any other big corporation, you are uh, expendable. You really, really, really are. So it is what it is. I'll see if I can get anything. There's just a lot of this kind of stuff, even 11 or 18. The mileage is just crazy. Like, you know, but I, I, I will make money today. It just might not happen as soon as I need it. All right. All right. We finally got one. We're at Costco. We got a batch. There's a Target over here behind me. So it's a double. 20 items combined, 20, 24 bucks. Uh, I think it was like four miles, so I took it. Um, Costco first, whip over to Target. I think it's like 28 units, at, eight items, eight units at Costco, super easy. 16 items at Target, not bad. This is the 54th order for Dot T. We'll go ahead and stop, we'll start shopping. This is super easy. When you have Costco, a lot of you guys ask me, um, do you have to have a membership card? You just hit view membership card and it pops right up. You show that to the person in the front. Let's go and shop this. All right, let's see what we're getting today. I didn't even look at the items. With Instacart, you don't have a lot of time to make decisions sometimes. And this was the best offer I've seen. So I said, let's take it. I like to really start with like a $40 order or something in that range. But sometimes you can take what you can get with these apps. All right, let's start shopping. This is the haul right here. Easy, water, water, plates, dog food, snacks. Easy, super easy. It should take maybe 15 minutes to find this. Let's go. Chicken, chicken. Costco order would not be complete without some water or some shit paper. All right, so we just got the dog food down there. 40 pounds of that. So this one's definitely got a little bit of weight behind it, this order, but we're almost done. Three more items. All right. Got these kisses and we're done. We're only oh, seven minutes in. All right, that was super easy. We do have a little bit of weight here, but uh, we got to pick the line. Pick a line that doesn't have a lot. This one's better. So we got a little bit of weight to carry, but it is what it is. And we out. And we're going to go to Target next. All right, so I wouldn't say this order is great, um, all in all. But like I said earlier, we weren't getting much. So sometimes you got to take what you can get. Cause this one definitely has, there's some weight, there's some items. So I'm hoping it's drop offs easy on this Costco. Cause uh, yeah, there's, I don't know, 40, 20, I don't know. Maybe 200 pounds worth of stuff. doesn't matter. So let's go to Target, 20 items. It's all the same. There's, all these items are within like an aisle or two, I think based on the first scan of it. So it should be pretty easy. We should be able to knock this out. Cause if we were only in that store, Costco from beginning to end of like 10 minutes even after I checked out, because checkout was really quick. So we're looking probably, if I can get this in 15, then we're probably looking at about, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes combined for 24 bucks. We just got a message from Shauna to not buy the fungal stuff she needed, which is like $25. So we're gonna make probably less money on this order. She said she didn't mean to order those. So please don't buy those. So let's make let's make less money than we thought on this one. That's fantastic. I love when that happens. All right, time to go. Time to bust out of Target. Just realized how long I've actually been out today and how much I'm actually gonna be making by the time I drop these off. And I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I gotta make money doing something else today. Not happy with myself, but it's, it is what it is. Just sitting here waiting like a sim. All right, this this customer was texting me about every item I when I after I selected it. She's like texting me these weird things. 
she was really following the app. No big deal, but um, yeah, this order sucks. <laughs> I know I took it, but you can't dissect it. If I would have dissected it and known, I probably would have just even waited. But listen, I'm petty. I'm 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 spoiled. I like to have good orders. I don't like slumming and out. I've, I've gave almost two hours. I will have given two hours of my day to Instacart and Uber. I'm only going to make like 22 and some change because this order is going to go down. Forgot where I parked my car. Uh, this is just not a good way to start the day. I might take an L today. I'm not really. Uh... When I make low money, I don't like I don't stay out longer to make up for it on certain days. I, feel, I, I work on other things I make money on. The car's over there. Because I just can't, I can't give the apps that much of my time and energy. Um, especially on days where I feel like nothing's really hitting. And, you know, my vibes are low. I just don't really, you know, I don't like to be out if I'm not in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this customer was just like, what about this? What about this? Can you not get that? What about this? Make sure it's that. Make sure it's this. Make sure you got the right one. And I'm like, what the? I couldn't respond to every message because it's like, it just would have been too much. So. Um, probably not a tip on here. I'm going to show you all the end result though. I'm not going to be surprised if there's not a tip um, because she's just, she's giving me those vibes, but it is what it is. Let's drop these two orders off. I've spent way too much, like not a lot of time, but like I've just spent too much of like my overall being on a measly $22 and some change. All right, that order, I took me an hour and eight minutes. I, that, I, the target order really was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And one of the houses, the directions where I, listen, you take, I took an L on this one. The first customer with the 200 pounds worth of product at Costco, a $5 tip. Second customer, a $5 tip, flat tip on that. So there was no change um, because we didn't get that fungal stuff. That order sucked. On, on Instacart, if you're spending, if you're shopping, carrying, lifting, dropping off two separate orders and you're spending an hour doing it, you got to make more than $24. That's my advice to you guys out there if you consider doing Instacart. That was not a good order. If I had to grade this order, I'd give that a C minus, maybe a D plus. Not good. The mileage was good about it. It's the only reason I don't give it an F. Now, listen, I'm picky. I value my time at more than that for, for the work and whatever else, right? That's just me, okay? Um, and I will say this. I appreciate the customers a tip, but if you're... Don't have to go to Costco. Let's just use the Costco order as an example. If you don't have to go in your car, use your fuel, drive to go to Costco, shop it, wait in the line, pick up 40 bag, 40 pound bags of dog food, multiple cases of water, bring it up the steps. You had two, three different things of steps, right? If you don't have to do all that, you'd think you'd tip more than $5. Think about what I just the time and energy I saved you, but some people get it. Some people don't listen. That amount of work is a lot more than getting a $5 tip for picking up a McDonald's chicken McNuggets meal and dropping it off. That's why a lot of you guys don't like shopping. I get it. I take the wins with the losses. My first order today was an L. What do you guys think? That's all y'all get today from Pedro, DoorDash, Instacart, Uber, <laughs> Mr. Bet on you, Santiago. I'm going to I have a few other things to do today. I'm going to keep the apps on. only take things that are really, really good. I wanted to be a $200 day today, but I'm not going to stay out long enough probably to do that. So I'll take an L and I'll make it up maybe tomorrow or something like that. So that's the video. I'm a top dasher. I have to say, I know I said that that would never happen. And when I said that, I meant I would never go for it and then actively work, out, work it because I thought it was a benefit. I happened to stumble upon it kind of doing my little experiment and I have it and I'm not going to work DoorDash this month and I'll show you guys that when we get to January I show you my account and show you that I did not work any DoorDash but I still can make money in my market trying and flexing my muscles doing Instagram and various other things because on this channel we make money doing multiple things don't put yourself in a corner where you can only do one thing to make money or two things to make money try to figure out a couple ways that way when one thing falls and one thing's not hitting you can go on to the next I'm on my way to a couple local gyms. I have a meeting today talking about giving them some free merchandise. The bet on you, Seckles, one day at a time at a couple of my local gyms to see if they want to or can wear those items and sell them in their shop. Because people that work out and take good care of their body, 
they're betting on themselves setting goals and doing it one day at a time, right? Let's see how this goes. Stay tuned. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.